Hello. So today is Daddy's birthday. That's what he's doing. And we're gonna do this. Take me to him. Mm-hmm. I've got a massive bag of bag of a thousand pieces. Yeah. We've got to get all the straight edges and the non straight edges separate so we're going to do that now and then we're going to start making it now you help him either are you help him or you help him sorting the puzzle pieces yeah. or you're just trying to eat the crisps that i mean what are you doing yeah, yeah. why being camera shuffle right, right. Yeah. you just want to eat the crisps don't you okay this is how far we're into the sorting it's the worst bit right so taylor's asked for some color in here First time ever. I'm only going to put it in the end so when she goes back to school I can chop it off. Because I am trained in hairdressing. Not that I practice it that much, but I do for friends and family. And then Grayson wants some more blonde in his hair. It's nice and long. So we'll show you the results when it's. See what Taylor thinks of her hair. I love it. Like it? Yeah, I think it's really like. Kind of weird having blonde there. I was gonna get you some pink to put on it, but maybe we'll see. I'll stick with we'll see how long you're off school. For. Set of highlights weren't enough for the boy, so uh, he wanted some more. Come then, can I have a look. And I cut it short as well. Oh, oh, you like it? Yeah. So grown up, my little ten-year-old, didn't you? Yeah. Let me see. I can't really see in this light. Come back in here. It looks better. Just used a mess, working from home and cutting hair. Very nice. I've been to the beach. Happy? Yep. Cool. Look at like, the coldness. It looks like steam coming off it. How weird. Good evening. So the hubby's gone to play some computer downstairs, so I actually get the TV for a change. I'm going to watch some Disney Plus because I've only watched a couple of things on it so far. But how's everybody doing? The last couple of days for me has been a bit difficult. Just mentally trying to deal with what's going on and the restrictions and the wanting to do things and the not knowing and all the unknown tends to play a bit of havoc with your brain when you're inside all the time. But um, yeah, I hope everyone's doing all right. This uh, vlog's a bit mishmash and bibs bits and bobs all put together but all we're doing is well I'm working every day every weekday and um, the kids are now on Easter holiday so they're not technically doing any work which makes it a bit harder because I like routine I like them to be in routine and now they're just doing whatever they want all day long without being able to be particularly active or anything like that but from tomorrow we're going to try and make sure that we're getting out for at least like 30 minute walk or they're on the exercise bike for 30 minutes or things like that just trying to make sure that we are getting our bit of exercise in um and fresh air as well because i know on days when i don't go out i feel worse um but then it's finding the motivation to go out once i'm out i'm happy but I, initially i don't want to go out and then once i'm out i'm happy so yes anyways i dyed my hair brown didn't i but it's fading out already because my hair was blonde so i need to redo that as well anyway let's have a look what we can find on disney plus so i'm gonna watch the third um one of imagineering stories First one had me crying my eyes out. Second one had me crying my eyes out. Um, hopefully three doesn't have me crying my eyes out, but they're such beautiful stories. I love the backstories, everything to do with Disney and Mr. Walt Disney and all things like that. So even the intro is exciting. Okay, so that was episode three of the Imagineer story I cried twice they're just such beautiful stories and there's so much that we would never realize what happened behind the scenes when they were building the parks and all the financial struggles and everything that went on and the people that passed away and yeah it was sad as well as much as i love them they all had very sentimental like parts of them that are quite sad but it was lovely but as a sneak peek of the next one so let's have a look Next on The Imagineering Story. 
Success is really about many, many failures. We're experimenting, we're trying things that we don't know if it will work or not. The Disney company knew what it did, and here we want to do something we have Animal Kingdom. About. That period of the company was very much one of fiscal discipline that we needed to bring a developer's mentality to how we do California. our work here. Exciting. Till next week. Afternoon. Eva, say hello. Eva. Eve. What's this? Be alone. I've finished work for the day. Just come out for a little stroll. Oh, hang on. Now we're dancing. Yeah, this is nice out today. It's nice weather. It's one of our favourite places to walk as well. Because look. You get these nice views. <sighs> so we're still looking at a few weeks probably. But we'll see. What's going on? What's the old man doing? Picking up the poo poo. Anyone else's cat is intense. Excuse the old like fro. It looks a bit knackered but this side's super soft. Yeah, he loves it. Simba. You look very angry with your eyes. You are a good looking cat but you look a bit evil. Cats are so weird. And he dribbles, which is super gross. Oh no, now I'm giving him attention, he's coming closer to me. <laughs> he's quite an old boy, really. Oh, he's so gross how much he dribbles. Anyone else's cats dribble? It's so disgusting. How old are you? You're about, I think he's about 12 or 13. His sister Nala is somewhere. Nala and Simba, of course. Our rabbit's called Tinkerbell, and our dog's called Eva from Wally. Of course, they have to have Disney names. Wednesday really, afternoon. I can't really play in Managed to drag these little losers out somehow. Not a little loser. Yeah. More football, so that's what's made him happy. Let's start over the back of our house. Alright, Tay? Mm -hmm. Little Eva. Screw friends. Oh, teenagers. Just out for a walk and look what someone's done. Pegs what? and paper and hand sunny. Little messages to the NHS. What a idea. So I wrote a little message. It just says, thank you for everything you do. Forever grateful. Such a cute idea. Mm. Evie, she's there. Eve, go. Eva. What? Eva. Go. No, not that way. That way. Get you. Eva, get your brother. <sighs> Stresses. It's so nice out here. I'm very lucky, considering we came from concrete jungle of London, to have this right on our doorstep. So for now, it's finished. Please excuse that. That was a black curtain that got knocked over ages ago. He does need new furniture and new flooring. But I'm pretty happy. You don't want to see me. I'm in my PJ still. This is a bit ugly as well on his chair, but it will do for now. That's a pile of stuff to be sorted. But otherwise, his drone. I'm pretty happy. Good job. Mm -hmm.